So here we are to install prop server. Here we have remote prop one. This is the server actually. Let me tell you. Windows Server 2012 R2 that we're going to install the remote probe server. So we'll simply explore the PRTG server, which is core server. As I said before, core server is exactly the server that installed the PRTG and local prop at the same server, like here. As I said before, this server is core server because it's included local prop and core server. So in device, we simply click on plus and we'll say add remote prop. And as you can see, it tells you that we have detected that PRTG core server configuration does not allow remote prop connections. That means we should allow core server to accept remote prop connection by going to prop connection IPs here. So we'll click on connection IPs. So here is the option. You can find this actually configuration here by setup and system administration and here on core and prop which is here. So by default prop connection only is going to respond to the core server local IP address. That means PRTG will not accessible from remote probes. So here we'll say all IP address on this computer. That's okay. And here we have the access key. When you install prop service, actually this access key will help you to secure your connection between core server and remote probe. And it's automatically transfers from your core server to the remote probe server. And here we should specify the allow IP address. Here we'll click on I here. It tells you that you should specify the IP address or the range that you want or type any. That means any server that can request to be a remote prop server of this core server. So for security issue, maybe you would ask, okay, anybody can send the request and install remote prop. Actually, the last step is going to be the approvement. If anybody tries to install a remote probe on the network, you must accept it from your core server. Keep in mind that. So we'll simply type any. Or you can specify the IP address of your remote probe server. And here you can specify the IP address that actually you don't want to connect to your core server as a remote probe anymore. For example, you lost the connectivity for several remote probes and you don't want actually to connect those remote probes to your PRTG server. You can actually add them here. You can add the address or define the range. That's okay. So the rest of configuration is going to be default here. So we'll remove this IP address and we'll click on save. So here it tells you that PRTG core server will be restarted. So we'll hit OK. So before any changes, keep in mind that you should take a snapshot from your PRTG core server. So again, we'll go to device. And here we'll click on add remote probe. And here, as you can see, we can easily go ahead and prepare and download the installation. And it tells you at least you need Windows 7. That should be power on 24-7. And here we'll click on prepare and download. So this file in installation actually it downloaded from your core server. So this is the file. As you can see, it's included the access key. So simply we'll double click on the file to install the remote prop server. And here we'll click on install. So having said that, we need to install remote prop to actually 
connecting remote office devices to core server. Or maybe you overuse the sensors in your main office. That you can take a benefit from your remote prop service actually to connect several devices to that remote prop and the rest of them to your core server. You can divide your network between a core server and the remote prop server. In case of that, you have, for example, 10,000 sensor. And the last example, maybe your core server actually is getting slow and you want to actually separate your uh, sensors between two servers. I mean core server and remote prop server. Even in your LAN, maybe you need to install one or two or three remote server for actually balancing the sensors between this remote prop service and actually you can see the result on your core server. This is the another good example that you can balance your PRTG network monitoring tool. So as you can see here we have congratulations this prop server connected to your PRTG. We'll say continue and finish. So here we we'll click on approve or you can approve and auto discovery the devices that connect to your remote prop. So still we don't have any devices that connected to our remote prop. We'll say approve. So we'll wait a second to see the result of the remote prop server. That's okay. So great. Here we'll go to device. So here we have the local prop. And again, remote prop. It is recommended that you separate your devices between one or two or three probes. It depends on the number of sensors that you are going to use in your production environment. You can actually connect these all devices to your remote prop one or remote prop two or the rest of prop that you have. That means this core server only focus on monitoring and will not connect to your devices for gathering the information. So here let's add the group for window under probe one. So here on management, we'll say add group. And this time we'll select probe one and okay. And here we'll say windows remote prop one something like this and here we can specify the snmp here so we'll say la and okay and we'll go back to device and we'll add device so here we'll type prop one just an example and the IP address, which is going to be our remote prop IP address. That's okay. Just in case for actually testing the connectivity between remote prop and device and PRTG core server. And actually we config the SNMP on the group parent and we'll say okay. And here we'll add a sensor. We'll say CPU or memory for SNMP and window. So we should specify the access list here. The problem is going to be by the access list here in window. So here we'll say the IP address of the remote probe, which is, as you can see, prop one and its IP address. Okay. And again, for lab community here, we'll specify the remote probe IP address. So again, we'll test SNMP memory for window and we'll add that sensor. Now, as you can see, we can monitor the devices here. And we'll click on scan now. That's great. And again, you can click on recommend now here.
For Cisco devices, keep in mind that you should specify the SNMP on the remote location. For example, in this device, we'll say SNMP community, which is going to be lab, and the RO and the access list 27. So in this example, keep in mind that Cisco switches are going to actually accept only the remote prop service. So this access list is going to only permit your remote prop service because actually your remote prop server are going to connect to your devices and gather the information and send it to your PRTG core server. So this is how you can install a remote prop server and how you can connect your devices to the remote prop server.